And welcome back to the Soccer Saga here from Pepsi Stadium as a two-hour weather delay pushed back the start of the women's game. And a double overtime win for the Lady Crusaders as they took down Lady Bobcats. Elise McCray 1-0. Double overtime goal courtesy of number 21, Kayla Cruz. And let's see what the men's team can do. North Greenville 2-1, and 1-0 in the Conference Carolinas as we welcome you here the Conference Carolinas Digital Network. Elise McCray 1-3, 0-1. In conference plays, we get ready to kick this one off between the Bobcats and the Crusaders for game number two. Grace Sullivan with you tonight as we continue on. Starters for North Greenville, you've got number four, Marlon Evans, number seven, Dylan Erkins, number 11, Casey Brady, number 13, Eric Gonzalez, number 18, James Segovia, number 19, Jake Quinn, number 20, Nick Roberson, number 22, Ben McKay, number 28, Zach Baker, Number 37, Rolando Macias. Number 88, Noah Kendrick. Four, Lise McRae. It is number three, Johan Hedberg. Number five, Luis Jimenez. Number seven, Frederick Hove. Number nine, Paul Vassert. Number 10, Augustine Ortiz. Number 11, Philip Olden. Number 17, Harvey McMorrow. Number 19, Francisco Silvestre. Number 20, Kelvin Woods. Number 25, Angel Abrego. Number 27, Anton Sundstrom. And we are underway for North Greenville. They will be defending the right end goal. Leaves McRae defend, or North Greenville defending the left end goal. Leaves McRae defending the, I'll get it right eventually. I believe it is Lee McCray defending the right end goal. North Greenville defending the left end goal. So opening minutes here of the men's game. Lise McRae had the best pressed attack. And not much happening right now. Lise McRae looking for some kind of open passing lane. Harvey McMorrow looking down the field. And he's got help from Francisco Silvestre. Silvestre, the sophomore in Sao Paulo, Brazil. That's cut away by North Greenville up to Number 28 for the Crusaders, who is Zach Baker. And that one's sent packing by the keeper for Lise McCray. And now the Bobcats pressure again. Vassert pressing left wing, looking to the middle. He's got help. The shot is good. Bobcat strike first. That one, Augustine Ortiz. Buries it in the back of the net and leaves McCray going up with the early goal, courtesy from the sophomore from Mendoza, Argentina. Augustine Ortiz puts the Bobcats up one. Greenville having some trouble getting the kickoff going their way. Now we're back underway. 42-30 left to play in the first half. Lise McRae, courtesy of the goal from Augustine Ortiz, goes up one. And that is his second goal of the season. And Lise McRae trying to go quick again with Vassert getting the Bobcat throw in. 
going up to number 17, McMorrow. McMorrow trying to turn the corner. Good defense by North Greenville over there. And they're able to get it out of the corner. Back over to number 20, Kelvin Woods on the defense back line for Lees McRae. And now the Bobcats down the right side. And right to the North Greenville keeper, Noah Kendrick, who makes a stop. Lees McRae coming in off a loss against Southern Wesleyan, 3-2 to two in that one. North Greenville got a win against Erskine, 2-1 last time they were out. Lees McRae's lone win on the season, a 5-1 victory result over Mars Hill. And heavy contact there in the neutral zone. North Greenville foul going to be called on number 10. Or that's number 18. That is James Segovia with the Crusader foul. Now North Greenville will try and turn it upfield. Here's Eric Gonzalez. Over to Segovia, who's stuffed. Good sliding challenge there by the North Greenville defender. And now it's going back the other way. Late challenge by North Greenville. No call. We play on. And booted out of bounds by Kendrick. Rough start to the game for North Greenville. And Head coach for Lee's McCray, Rich Wall. Got to be feeling pretty good about that early goal and knocking on the door for another one. Lee's McCray battling hard at the right side edge of the box. North Greenville able to rip it away. Can't really see any numbers over there. A sliding challenge down the sideline. Now the Bobcats get it back with number 11, Philip Olden. Nice booming kick down the field, but too far in front of Luis Jimenez, who was closest to it. Might have been trying to aim for him. Lee's McCray with the early goal. If you're just joining us, 1-0 over North Greenville, courtesy of Augustine Ortiz. Has the Bobcats up by one. There's over to number 19, Francisco Silvestre. Bounds far side again. It will be a North Greenville throw in. Crusaders really haven't been able to get anything going these opening minutes. And stolen away by the Bobcats. Now on the Jets. Cross into the box. And overrunning it, but the shot taken over the crossbar, no good. What a shot there from McMorrow who came flying in. And that looked like number 18, Bryce, or I guess that was number 19, Silvestra. Bryce Horan's not on the field. But Silvestra overran the ball. If he was a couple more feet back, he would have been in perfect line to fire. Nonetheless, Noah Kendrick and North Greenville able to escape without letting up a second goal. Still, the one in Lee's McRae's column. Tracking down Jimenez first to it. And sliding challenge by North Greenville. Number 11, Casey Brady got to it there. Crusaders number seven, Dylan Erkins now after it. Keeps it in play, trying to split the difference. Stumbles and finally has it knocked away. Now leaves McRae off to the races. A check up for it, number nine. Vassert down the right wing. They've got help. Numbers forward for the Bobcats. Number seven with it. Fired, deflected. That was Frederick Hove. Blocked out of bounds. Bobcats throw in.
And this is a almost internet, almost half international team for Elise McRae. Lots of Scandinavian players. Got some from Western Europe. I mentioned Ortiz, the goal scorer so far from Argentina. Elise McRae trying to go through there to Silvestre, who himself is from Brazil. Greenville trying to work it down the right side. Lays McCray get cutting it out. McMorrow made Stone England. Solid defender. And sometime we'll rotate in at midfield. Midfielder for the Bobcats. Now Jimenez. Jimenez out of Kissimmee, Florida. And the Bobcats with the ball. Nice long pass down the field. Good pass. They've got help down the right side. Checking up and firing, trying to go for goal, deflected. It's a pair of sevens over there, Dylan Erkins and Frederick Hove. And deflected at the last second again. North Greenville trying to head it out of the box. They will not be able to do so as a Bobcat caught a sec. Last second piece of that was McMorrow. And now Ortiz trying to line it back up for his team, looking for goal number two. And kicked out by North Greenville, finally on the clear. And late uh, foul called there, so pushing the back against North Greenville. Free kick for Lee's McCray. Now here is McMorrow lining up a shot and wide left. Like the idea by McMorrow, but under duress, couldn't get the accuracy down. And Lee's McCray off and running. Already has a one goal lead and two shots. Might be their third there. North Greenville, no shots yet. Headed back on by Lees McRae. Back line for North Greenville able to get to it, who is now missing the outstanding defender, Lucas Gravely. And good throw in here for the Bobcats and just headed out by Segovia. North Greenville's got to figure out a way to settle down and stabilize some possessions here. Coach Bill Martin facing off against Rich Wall in this matchup. And it's sliding challenge there by North Greenville, able to get the ball away, try to feed it through forward to number 28 down there, Zach Baker in open space and uh, another good poke away by Lees McRae. They've got Sundstrom back in goal, his first challenge of the day or night. Lee's McCray right back to business down the field. Number 11, Philip Olden. Over to the left, he's got McMorrow. And trying to pick up help, he's got Vassert. Vassert needs some help down the middle, and a shot wildly peeling off the top of the foot. McMorrow going for the strike and, and missed the angle. Had the power, but missed the angle by quite a bit. We'll go back to... North Greenville on the throw in. Bobcats header lands at the feet of North Greenville. Popped up again. And first man to it is McMorrow. Seems to be everywhere at once. Now back to Jimenez. And now a strike from Olden. Back to number 20. Kelvin Woods back there at defender. He's joined by Angel Abrego. Oh, 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 
Greenville gets a deflection twice there. McMurrow bouncing it off of a NGU player. Can't see the number again. Number 37 there on the defensive deflection. Ronaldo Marcius. Marcius. The freshman for this Crusader squad from Newburgh, Indiana. So Cray right back into North Greenville defending third at the edge of the box and a sliding save there made by North Greenville right in front of o o Ortiz again who was looking for the back of the net for his second strike. So far the difference is Ortiz's goal for Lee's McCray has them up by one. And here's McMurrow left wing again over to Vassert. Vassar tried to feed it through. He's got McMorrow chips up right to the keeper. Kendrick for the save. Played that one well. Yeah. North Greenville passing right to Lees McCray. Eric Gonzalez, almost like he never saw Lees McCray. Over to the right side. Kendrick called upon again. And North Greenville trying to get it, get rid of it. They will do so. Casey Brady finally packs it out of bounds for the Bobcat throw in. Let's work it back to the middle of the field. Here comes a long shot. Kendrick again. One step and has it. And Lays McCray right up to it again for the intercept. Jimenez over to McMorrow. Has a man open. It's Vassert. Good sliding t challenge by NGU to send it out of bounds. And there's a throw in or a corner. It looks like a throw in. Olden. And now Jimenez. Sundstrom. Olden again to Ortiz. Lee's McCray trying to draw North Greenville back across midfield. Now the Crusaders have number forward and will press the attack and another tackle to the turf. We had one of those in the men's game as or the women's game. Number 22, Ben McKay got slung to the turf. No card issued, and Coach Martin wanting to know why North Greenville will get a free kick out of it. Referee positioning the wall. And on the kick, high curling right and off the knee of Erkins and out of bounds. Goal kick. Well, he's McCray. Greenville trying to go for the sliding challenge. That was Nick Roberson diving in. The junior out of Greer couldn't come up with a stop. Believes McCray still has it. Kick by Sundstrom downfield. On Sandstrom, Sundstrom back in goal. Then the only keeper to see the field for Lee's McCray. His fifth game played in, all 374 minutes, eight seconds coming in. Nine goals allowed, only a 2.17 goal, goal allowed per game average. Made 17 saves coming in and posting up that 1-3 win-loss re record that Lees McCray has coming in. 
And for the Crusaders, Noah Kendrick, this will be his fourth game played in, 267 minutes, 14 seconds. Has allowed six goals coming in, one that, and that one posted up by Lee's McCray will be his seventh. A 2.02 goal allowed average coming in. Made 20 saves, though, and has one win to his credit. Five different Crusaders have scored for North Greenville. Zach Baker, Calisto, Mathate, Jake Quinn, Will Moy, Marlon Evans, they all have goals. And for the Bobcats, mentioned Ortiz, picked up his second goal. That's the difference maker so far. Number 18, Bryce Horan, he does have one. And number 29, Jake. Johannes Oxa, Oxnavad, he's got one. Or no, he's got two. Ortiz now has two on the season. And number 21, Sockenstad has one. Vassar leads the team, though. He's got three. So a player to watch there for Lee's McCray. So far for the game, no shots, no goals, no assists for Paul Vassar. Expect at least McCray to go to him more often as this game wears on. Another great defense at the edge of the box. Bobcats lining up for the shot, and the second goal is scored. And the Bobcats continuing to build off a great start to the game so far. Everything going the Bobcats' way. That puts Lee's McCray up 2 0. And we will wait for a confirmation on the goal scorer. And North Greenville now down in a bigger hole, two by two. The defense not up to standards right now. Well, Kendrick having a tough time to goal, and now North Greenville being chased around in their defensive part of the field. Lee's McCray trying to get it back. McMorrow right there again. And the goal will be credited to Paul Vassert. Just talking about him, goal number four on the season. That puts Lee's McCray up by two, 25 minutes to go in the first half, or first period. Leaves McCray being chased around in their defensive back part of the field. Out of bounds, though, off the Crusaders. Number 28, Zach Baker trying to get to it. Again, Leaves McCray showing a lot of speed out there, a lot of speed. Vassard on the front line. He just scored. Ortiz with one goal as well. Right now, they're just running circles around North Greenville's defense. And a hard whistle on the far side. A, another North Greenville foul. 25 total fouls in the women's game, if you missed that earlier, with one yellow card issued. Bit of a sloppy game out there earlier. North Greenville did win that one, one by one goal, one nil, and double overtime. But Lee's McCray has everything in hand here almost halfway through the first period. Still no shots for North Greenville to test Anton Sundstrom. Four shots for Lee's McCray. Three of them have been on goal. Two of them have scored. And here comes Hove. Frederick. Hove down the left side, crosses into the box, headed away by North Greenville. Now Bobcats trying to turn it back up. I can't do it. It's 
stolen away there by North Greenville, but deflected right back to him. Number 11, Casey Brady, trying to get things started. Looking to Segovia. And bouncing off Bobcats all the way back to the defensive part of the field. Leaves McCray going for the strike. That's deflected off Segovia. And a shot taken there from Sylvestra. Another North Greenville attack fizzles, fizzles out. Number eight, Will Moy at forward. Not close enough to it. Now the Bobcats around the right wing again. North Greenville has a presence there, and they're able to strip it away. And get it back down the field, but Bob, the Bobcats ricochet it right back. Exciting challenge again from the Crusaders as Sundstrom will come up. Will Moy once again in pursuit over the left side for Jimenez. And now to Hove. Number 10, the intended target, Ortiz there. And Segovia being called upon to defend. Brady with the deflection. And North Greenville's got a chance as it's popped up in the air at midfield. Segovia misses the misses the high kick. And North Greenville, or Lee's McCray will get called for the foul there. That one going against Frederick Hove. Nick Roberson, left side, has it knocked away from him. And right to McMorrow, who now has suddenly shifted to the right side and a long pass down the field. Lee's McCray, one on one here, and a tangle up in the box. What's the whistle? It will be against Lee's McCray. Boy, Vassert getting tangled up there with his lone man, one defender that was stuck on him, and that was the only thing blocking him from having Noah Kendrick all by himself. Two goal lead for Lee's McCray, 20 minutes left to go in the first half. No shots for North Greenville, no, no pressure against Sundstrom back in goal for Lees McRae. North Greenville trying to keep their conference winning streak going. And so far a rocky start for the men's team. Has not been a good start, 20 minutes to go in the first half. Bobcats with the throw in. Ortiz looking for help. He's got Jimenez. Or no, he's got number nine. That's Vassard in the corner helping him out. Jimenez back here on the defensive line. And a rebound shot bobbled, but Kendrick able to hang on to it. Good strike there from McMorrow, who's determined to get a goal before this one is over. They are swarming to the ball, Lee's McCray, that is. And the foul there against the Bobcats. Late challenge from Lee's McCray. Keeps it with North Greenville. And now over to number 16, Kyle Knopp. Sophomore from Franklin, North Carolina. Will be go, will, will go for the throw in. Crusaders just need to settle down and hang on to the passing lanes. Too many wayward passes early in this one. And just need to get a shot on Sundstrom to see what the Bobcats keeper can do. Through ball looking for Hove. Cut away by Knopp to Brady. Over to Jake Quinn. 
Quinn back to his keeper in Kendrick. Mistimed header over on the far side. McMorrow puts a foot to it. And now here come the Bobcats. Tough defense by North Greenville, but they get through over to Vassard, who has one tonight. And now looking for Ortiz as that one's deflected right back to Vassard, and Kendrick scoops it up in the melee. Pushing it forward for North Greenville is Baker, Zach Baker, through the legs of a defender. Very nice pass, and now he's stripped of it by Ortiz. Room to run on the far side for Lees McRae. Shot blocked by Kendrick. He's got to get back up as here comes Ortiz on the rebound, and that's wide right. And Lees McRae has Kendrick dancing around like a puppet in net. Waiting on a Bobcat throw in. Bobcats working with their defensive line. Jimenez forward two and a good turn there by Vassert. Tripped up but hangs on to it. And Vassert looking for help in the box. Cuts right, fires it in. North Greenville able to get it out. Good Crusader defense as they work it up to Segovia. And now the offside flag will go up against Moy. Well, it's a couple of steps behind that defensive line. Well, he's McCray and Cruz control already up two. And threatening, again, threatening more as they go to the left side. They've got Hove over there. Cross deflected out of bounds. Stays with the Bobcats. Should be a throw in. And another shot headed in and off the left side of the net. Another good strike from the Bobcats. And once again from the foot of Ortiz. Kendra must have caught a piece of Kendrick on the way by. This will be a corner kick for Lees McRae. That was just a throw in, and Ortiz showing off some moves there as he's trapped in against the sideline by Segovia and booted into the box by McMorrow. And it will work its way out of bounds as... Johan Hedberg was trying to get to it, but it will harmlessly bounce out of bounds for a goal kick. Ball makes it to midfield. At least McCray will take possession. Stolen away here, North Greenville headed into the box. They've got numbers forward, chipped up to the left side, looking for the strike, and it will go wide left. Great opportunity there for the Crusaders. Ben McKay came running in to steal it. And North Greenville will come away empty-handed. First shot there should go up on the board for the Crusaders, though, and it only took them about 30-odd minutes to get in the column. 
31 minutes to be exact. We've got just under 13 left. 31, 32 minutes for North Greenville to finally pressure Sundstrom. And McMurrow, hard contact with the ball. He has a very hard strike. And Lee's McCray looking here as the offside flag will go up against Vassert, who he had everybody beat again, but got the early start. Offside flag is up as Kendrick comes up with the ball. To add to North Greenville's troubles tonight, they've already been called offside, twi offside twice. Lee's McCray stacking up the substitutes. They've got two with Connor Hahn waiting and Pellini Nekanul. Another great defensive save. Sundstrom pressured there for the second time and It'll be a corner kick for North Greenville. Nick Roberson finally getting North Greenville in the shot column. And a second shot there, and potentially a third here with the first with the first NGU corner of the game. Low line drive kicked out by Lee's McCray on the clear. Crusaders try and maintain a nice long pass. Headed away by the Bobcats again. That was number 20. Give credit there to Kelvin Woods, recognizing the threat. Crusaders still not done yet. Work their way to the right side. And the Bobcats are there again. Poked into the corner and kept in play. And white jersey deflected off the shot. And which side of the flag is it on? Looks like a throw in. Nice strong throw in, popped up. Still loose in the Leaves of Cray box. Now they're able to head it out. Segovia trying to get a foot to it. And he's helped out by number 11, Casey Brady comes over. And look out, Lee's McCray with the steal. Number nine, Vassert came in, and now a Bobcat takes a tumble. We play on for the moment while there's a Bobcat down on the turf. And that is Vassert rolling around on the far side as Lee's McCray kicks it out. And the referee motioning, and here comes a trainer. And Vassert pops right back up. Bobcats going wholesale changes. They added a third sub. It was Uriel Castro Zavaleta. And that... That is Vassert coming to the sideline. He is okay. And so they will just bring him out. No. And actually, he just runs right back on the field. So he stays in the game despite whatever injury he had. A senior leader for Lees McCray. Greenville starting to piece together some attacks, but that defensive back line very strong for Lee's McCray. Sundstrom looking for help. Aiming for Zavaleta over his head. And here comes Silvestri. Works it to the middle of the field. Vassert to his foot. Back into the corner and the offside flag is up. Right, 
Second offside call against Leesma. Or for, that's their first offside call. North Greenville's had two already. Pass looking down the field, dropped right in front of North Greenville. Now they have an open net, and it scores. Casey Brady able to catch the goalie off his mark, and North Greenville salvaging something of this first half. Casey Brady on the move, beautiful pass forward to him. And North Greenville cuts the lead in half. It's 2-1. Well, some life for North Greenville here at the end, uh, toward the end of the first period, just over seven minutes to go. And what seemed like it was going to be a period dominated and completely controlled by Lees McCray, North Greenville with some life. As we resume play, 2 1. Now the advantage for Lees McCray, Casey Brady bringing North Greenville back to life. Greenville keep this result or f maybe try and find the equalizer heading into the half. That would definitely be, definitely be quite the turnaround for North Greenville and will certainly set up a very exciting second period of play. North Greenville starting to challenge the ball more. Very good pressure on it. Here's number four, Marlon Evans. Tried to get it to Brady and too far past him. Connor Hahn will come over for it. Leaves McCurry over to McMurrow. Toward the middle of the box. There's some space over there. Silvestri and lining up a shot deflected and that was Evans saving a surefire goal. Marlon Evans diving in front of it. Leaves McCray will have to settle for the corner. Kick comes in, headed out by Bri by Segovia. Brady back there. Brief Brady got the header to it. And it will go out of bounds for a goal kick for Kendrick. Three volleys on the header. And finally hits turf. Kyle Knott back, at the, back there at defender for North Greenville. They're trying to find Baker now down the right line. Yeah, nice back heel to Knopp. Knopp turns on the Jets. And it will go be kept in bounds. Segovia. Back up to Moy. Moy deflected. Brady can't pick it up. Now Lee McRae will turn it around. And he's picked off again by McKay. Ben McKay, two great interceptions. Stepping into the passing line. Now a nice deflection there from Erkins. And skied up by Lee McRae. It will stay in play. Headed back on by Quinn. Now we're going the wrong way with it. And you got to watch out. Vassar is right there. Now there's a tangle up for it. Lee's McCray wanting the handball. They come away with it anyway. And a shot in the back Ortiz takes. And yeah, that's a North Greenville foul. No card forthcoming yet, but free kick coming up for the Bobcats. Clock moves under four minutes. 2-1, Lee's McCray. The, Bob, the Bobcats look to be in control. Two quick goals for them, and Casey Brady not giving up, jump-starting the Crusader offense. The free kick here, deflected, bounced into the box, headed back by North Greenville, 
And still loose. And finally, Knopp got rid of it. And it goes out of bounds. It'll stay with the Bobcats. Can't let up a goal here late as Bryce Horan will check in here for Elise McCray. A redshirt freshman out of Racing City, USA, better known as Mooresville, North Carolina. The Bobcats looking for their third goal of the game, third goal of the half, and running out of real estate, just shy of the, just past the corner flag, will go back to NGU. Trying to reach halftime here. North Greenville down one. Would like to go into the half down one. And the defense starting to tighten up for the Crusaders as well. Bobcats are going to have it here with just over two minutes, though. And stolen away. North Greenville has a man running free down the left side. Three Bobcat defenders stuck on him and popped up out of play. Who's it off of, though? Looks to be Lees McCray, and a that should be a corner kick for North Greenville as it goes out behind the goal. So a late corner here for North Greenville with just over 90 seconds to go. Cross in, punched up by Sundstrom. Ball's at the feet of NGU, trying to get the rebound shot. Can't do it. Zach Baker had it. Now Lee's McCray running free across midfield, trying to feed it through. Furthered up to number 18, Horan. He'll try and cross in the box. That's deflected. Final minute of play for the first period. And now bounced all around as a shot taken there. Baker took one for the team. And he's not going to be rewarded for it. Lee's McCray gets it back. Zavaleta forward for the Bobcats and out of bounds. North Greenville ball. Thirty seconds to work with. Got to get the throw in and fight fight down the field. Looking for Baker too far in front of him. Lays McCray right back to Ortiz. Ortiz running circles around Will Moy. Fires it forward. The Bobcats with 15 seconds to go. They turn it over to Casey Brady. Will Moy trying to hang on to it. And he turns it over as Connor Hahn picks him off. And that should do it for us in the first half as the ball harmlessly skips back toward the North Green Village of the box. No pressure from Lee's McCray. And we've hit the half. Lee's McCray fight, comes out firing on our cil all cylinders. Two goals, one courtesy of Ortiz and Vassert. North Greenville able to pull one of those back with Casey Brady firing to get one past Sundstrom. 2-1 advantage in favor of the Bobcats at Lee's McCray. We're at the half here for the men's game. Bring back for the second half here on the Conference Carolinas Digital Network.
And welcome back to the start of the second half here from Pepsi Stadium on the Conference Carolinas Digital Network. Lee's McCray leads North Greenville two to one. Off a couple of goals from Paul Vassert and Augustine Ortiz, a goal each for the Bobcats have them the lead as it stands right now. Casey Brady able to get the lone goal for North Greenville late there in the first period of play. Paul Vassar also picking up an assist off that first goal for Ortiz. So definitely a player to watch there, number nine for Lee's McCray as we are underway here for the second half. The way this game started for North Greenville, being down one at this stage, it's got to feel pretty good, but Coach Martin like to be in a better position, obviously equalized or ahead at this point. Also at this point, but team did a very good job of rebounding and going into the half break strong. Lee's McCray out shooting North Greenville nine to four. Six of those have been on goals compared to two for North Greenville. Noah Kendrick, four saves, but he has let up those two goals. Only one save for Anton Sundstrom. Two corners apiece, five to three in fouls favoring Lee's McCray there, and both teams have been called offside twice. Ortiz and McMorrow lead the way in shots for the Bobcats, and they're looking to line up one here early in the second half as it bounces its way loose, and Kendrick comes up with the stop, and he had to, otherwise that one was going to ricochet in. For North Greenville, Brady, Roberson, McKay, and Moy all with a shot. Brady, the one able to capitalize and score. Lee's McCray, though, dominating possession in the first period, looking to get things going here in the second as it's booted over the crossbar by Vassert again. Looking for goal number two for him. And goal five on the season. Again, Lee's McCray so good at establishing possession there. That was number seven, Frederick Hove, who was able to pull that one down for the Bobcats. Now Jimenez. He's got it over the far side. He's got help over there with Angel Abrego. Nice strike from... Sundstrom. He's McCray again. They have Ortiz pressing that North Greenville back line. And it's going to tail out of bounds. Go back to North Greenville. The goal for this half is they need to get more pressure. They need to pressure Sundstrom. Haven't really been able to see what he can do yet this game. Only one save that whole first half. Only four shots for North Greenville. Need to watch their passes. Try some more long shots downfield. They have speed. Casey Brady showed that in the first half. So build upon a strike there from Brady. See if he can get somebody sneaking behind the defense. But the key there is got to stay onside. And that seems to be a problem tonight for both teams with this slick turf. And again, stolen away there. Leaves McCray number 11, Philip Olden. And now the Bobcats bringing heat again. Long shot taken and just over the crossbar there. Boy, Kendrick had to worry about that one on the long shot from Olden. Goal kick for Kendrick as he let that one sail over his head.
Cray again back with it. I'd like to see the time of possession count for them, and what a long shot, and Kendrick was ready for that one. Guess who again? Harvey McMorrow lining up from way downtown. Fourth shot for McMorrow, and once again denied. Now into the, just past the 50th minute. Here in the second period, Lee's McCray leading 2-1 over North Greenville. Conference Carolina's matchup, happy to have you here on the newly launched Conference Carolina's digital network, uh, available on a variety of streaming platforms and coming to more as the fall semester progresses on. And uh, if you're just joining us now, the impact of Hurricane Florence being felt, not really just statewide, but more all, more all over across the southeast. Uh, Wednesday's volleyball match has already been postponed against Columbia College. Uh, that will be rescheduled and made up at a later date that is currently to be determined. Lee's McCray looking for another goal strike here. Back up top to Abrego. And he'll reset things back to midfield with Hedberg. Also, if we have any Emanuel College fans out of Georgia with us tonight, a double header against Emanuel slated for Friday now. Here's a chip shot into the box looking for Vassert. And North Greenville able to clear it out. As we're North Greenville supposed to be hosting Emanuel Friday and Saturday, women's game on Friday, men's game on Saturday, that has now been changed to be a double header on Friday at 5 and 7.30, should weather again permit. First things first, though, got to get through this one before North Greenville can turn their attention to Emmanuel on Friday as the offside flag again goes up against Lees McCray, and this time against Hove. And, of course, North Greenville football at home this Saturday as they look to get their Gulf South Conference play started as Ortiz trying to break behind the defense again. Pops it up in the air, missed time kick there from Vassert. It goes out of bounds and will be a goal kick for Kendrick. At least McCray just hurt themselves there on that one. But again, this Saturday, North Greenville football will be hosting Mississippi College, it looks like, this Saturday for a night kick at 7 p.m. over at Yale Stadium. Their first ever Gulf South Conference game. Another whistle and another foul. Not quite as many fouls as we had in the women's game. So far, only a combined nine after that last one. And it will go up against Lee's McCray. So free kick here for number four, Marlon Evans. And North Carolina stacking up the subs, it looks like. We've got number six, Cameron Ward. And number 14, Coletso Mathate. Lee's McCray in trouble here. It back heel, back in, shot to the middle of the box and just wide right of the post. Good strike from Nick Roberson. Just missed it. Corner kick though coming up for North Greenville, deflected by the Bobcats somewhere in the middle of that box. Strike in, good curl to it, and over the head of everybody. And North Greenville able to track it down. So Lee's McCray not out of the woods yet. Now it's deflected out of bounds as it was Hove who got to it for the Bobcats, and it's out of bounds back to Lee's McCray. So double sub here for Coach Martin and company. Mathathe and Ward will come on. Coletso Mathathe, forward sophomore. Plays that forward, sophomore from all the way from South Africa. Hold 
little over half an hour in time for Lee's McCray to try, would say try and hold on, but they have they have shown the firepower this Bobcats team had. May not show it in their results, but they did have a five goal win earlier this they scored five goals and a win over Mars Hill and trying to add to that here. Bounces in and out of the box. And it will be a throw in just this side of the corner flag. Bobcats have been methodical and able to close in on possession. Hove with it. Looking to Vesser, popped up, deflected. And North Greenville not out of the woods yet. Bobcats hang on to it. Goes all the way back to the keeper, Sundstrom. North Greenville trying once again, number seven. Erkins with the interception, trying to get to Brady. And he's picked off by Vassar. That's a scramble for it in the corner. Two players go down. And the official motioning toward, the, toward Kendrick in the goal, so it must be a North Greenville foul. No cards have been issued yet in this game. And a free kick here for the Bobcats from the outer edge of the box. Got that corner lined up. And here we go for the setup pass. North Greenville trying to go for the steal. Shot lined up, deflected in the box. That one caught a piece of Segovia. Not out of the woods yet. Here comes the shot. Kendrick with the save. That will end the attack for sure. Well, Kendrick starting to settle in now and dial in on these strikes from Lees McCray. Now if North Greenville can help him out and relieve some of the pressure here with number seven, Dylan Erkins, running down the field, trying to get a pass back from the middle. Cut away. Bobcats get to it with number four, Nicholas Perslow. Perslow checks in here, a sophomore defender from Sweden. Trollot in Sweden. One of his fellow defenders, Johan Hedberg, we've seen him, a freshman from Stockholm, Sweden. Nice back heel, looking back, shot lined up, and just wide left. Lee's McRae was staring at their third goal. Frederick Hove had it. And too much curl on it. North Greenville caught a piece of that one, too. Maybe that's why it had so much curl on it. So Lee's McRae will have a corner opportunity. Strike comes in. Headed over the crossbar by North Greenville. And that might have been a double-edged short. Kyle Knopp had Nicholas Perslow draped all over him. And 6-3 for Perslow. Six foot even there for Knopp. North Greenville able to clear it out for the moment. Lisa Craig trying to turn it back upfield with Olden. Crusader still plenty of fight. Good strike there from number 20, Nick Roberson, pushing it forward. And he's able to get it up to Baker, sends across into the box and over the, over the goal itself. And I guess that insult there to the strike, a offside flag went up against him. Right, here comes Lee's McCray. Trying to take it himself on the strike. Off the hand of Kendrick. That saved a goal for sure. Well 
North Greenville's defense was snoozing a little bit there. No, it's late in the night, but can't afford Lee's McCray to get by you like that. McCray now here on the right side, trying to get the shot into the box. Cross looking, looking, looking as Ortiz off a Crusader defender. Bounce back out, cut away. Bobcats not done yet. Here they come, lifted up and right into the hands of Kendrick there on that shot from McMurrow. Shot number five for the junior defenseman slash midfielder McMorrow. Still no goals. And now Ortiz picks the pocket of Evans, gets it back to the middle of the field and a last second diving save made there by Jake Quinn to poke it away. Late challenge, shy, sh just shy of the midfield circle, will point it in GU's way, foul against the Bobcats. Good strike there from NGU and almost too good. Aiming for Nick Roberson, but ended up in the hands of Sundstrom. And North Green will throw in after Sundstrom heaved it and tailed it out of bounds. Two thirds of this game done. Only a less than a 30 minute period to go. And now, in fact, under 28 minutes to go. Number 11, Olden. Went downfield, picks up Evans from North Greenville, cuts that one away, and he'll go to Ward. Middle of the field, he has Baker. And trying to go over to number 20, Roberson had it deflected off his ankle and then slid on the turf. And now Lee's McCray, nice footwork there from number seven, Hove. Long pass downfield from Abrego. And here is Ortiz, he already has one, goes for the strike and that one tailed away from him. And a goal kick from Kendrick. Little too much on that one for Ortiz, looking for goal number two. Might have, in fact, even been thinking about a possible hat trick still here with 26 minutes to go. Whistle and a NGU foul this time. Now the foul total starting to pick up pace. Still got a long way to go to try and meet that women's game total of 25. We're up to 12 now. Still in favor of Lee's McCray leading 7-5 to five on the foul department. Push challenge there, the pair of sevens, Erkins and Hove, been going at it pretty much all game. Number 11, Olden. He's starting to step it up here in the second half. Good game for another Swedish born player for Lee McCray. North Greenville got space on the left wing as the pass finds Roberson. And a bit of a stumble there, and the offside flag will go up against Baker. And that is something that has bitten both teams. Four offside calls against Lee McCray. That's a third for North Greenville. And that just boils down to being aware, being aware of where you are on the field.
Elise McCray trying to get those long passes to work. That one just in front of Francisco Silvestre. He's got three shots for the Bobcats, but no goals to show for it. Elise McCray turning on the back foot and Johan Hedberg decided he'd had enough of that attack, kicked it out to stall North Greenville. They will have the throw in though. Starting to reach the halfway point of the second period. Elise McCray, tell you how dominant they have been just for the entirety of the match, out shooting North Greenville 17 5. 11 of those 17 shots have been on goal. It has been a stressful night for Noah Kendrick back in goal. And here comes Lees McCray again, two on one. Advantage will go to Kendrick as a slight deflection there by North Greenville, the left side defender. Looks like Marlon Evans was able to get to it. And now North Greenville trying to strike quick again. Here comes Roberson, the forward, crossing in, deflected by the goalie, shot in, and it's good. North Greenville finds the equalizer halfway through the second period. And it is two apiece, the equalizer scored. From number 14, Coletso. Mathathe finds the back of the net, going across the goal from right to left, and it's all knotted up at two. Well, new life for this Crusader squad after Lee's McCray dom largely dominated the first half, and it's starting to turn North Greenville's way now. Second goal of the season for Mathathe, and couldn't have come at a better time here for NGU. Now, who's got enough left in the tank to try and pull ahead? So 23 and a half minutes left to pick a winner from, from this one, or again, we're looking at extra time. These McCray still, they've had the attacks, but Kendrick has stepped up his play. The North Greenville defensive line, they have stepped up their play. And Nick Roberson has largely been the guy who's helped turn these attacks into goals. So big props to the junior from Greer, South Carolina, the yellow jacket from Greer High School. And a Bobcat foul getting tangled up there in the corner. It's a beautiful strike from Mathathe to Cur get that one just to curve in before the left side post. And the fog continues to roll in. The miracle in the fog is picking up steam. Marlon Evans. Much better second half for him. Over to Cameron Ward. Popped up by Erkins. And Dylan Erkins, a sophomore from just down the road in Greenville, as another foul on the Crusader took a hard tumble there. Erkins out of Wade Hampton High School, the Generals. Make sure a Crusader player here is okay. Looks like Jake Quinn is the man slow to get up, number 19. No trainer sent out there after him as Quinn is back up and trying to walk it off. And 
that has stopped the clock with 21.55 left. back to play after that brief delay and a costly turnover there for North Greenville in the middle of the field gave it up to Ortiz he tries to find Vassert and now North Greenville picks it back up Dylan Erkins doing doing the work and here comes Sundstrom way off his mark to pop that one up now he has to retreat back he had Mathate in his face again and another hard foul and we might have a card coming up. Referee reached to his back pocket. Yellow card is out. And it is against North, Gre North Greenville as Lee McRae setting up for the free kick. So one North Greenville player out there now on a yellow card for the rest of the match. Still waiting on the kick from Lee's McCray. And they'll just pass it off. Perslow. He'll go for the setup downfield. North Greenville ready for that. Lee's McCray not done yet. And a whiff there from the Bobcats, and it's finally cleared out. Silvestri going for the strike and over the top of it. Strike two. A well, long pass down the field. That one's headed away again. Silvestre, almost like he's getting in his own way. Lee's McCray, such a good team at able to being able to establish possession. They get it back over here to Hedberg, and he'll go. He'll drive it down the field into the corner, trying to pick up Hove, and it's deflected out. Stays with the Bobcats though. Another cross deflected away. Solid defensive work there for Cameron Ward, the senior from Taylor's. He's also out of Wade Hampton High. Shot in, headed on goal for the Bobcats, popped up, and the corner kick coming up. Bobcats starting to pile up those corners. This will be their sixth. Here it comes then. Mistimed header. Some, somebody in there jumped too early for the Bobcats. And now they'll have to chase it all the way back across midfield and out of bounds. They'll keep it, though, but that cost them half the field. It was number three there, mistiming the header, Hedberg. North Greenwood gets it back. Here comes the man himself, Nick Roberson. And kicked away from him just in time by Lee McCray. Not done yet, Casey Brady, though, the lone one of two scores today for North Greenville. Over to Erkins now. Erkins, nice moves. Back to Brady, pops it up off the chest of Ward. And now it's popped up. Who's got the header or put a foot to it? And it's out of bounds off of Olden. So North Greenville ball still tied at two. And these teams starting to run out of times. We're past the 70th minute. Double sub there for North Greenville. And Casey Brady 
Showing a little bit of fatigue getting off the field. And that drive, as soon as it starts, comes on in for North Rainville. Foul. Now the Bobcats instead playing to increase their lead, playing to get the lead. Jumped out to a 2-0, 2 0 lead. North Greenville's answered since then. On the strike in, Kendrick deflected, saved by the bell at the last minute by Marlon Evans. Battle of the throw-ins over on the far side. Wait and see who comes out of it with possession. A long boot down the field, and Sundstrom has to go get that one. North Greenville will be pressure on it. And Sundstrom almost didn't get enough contact on it, and now he'll... Trying to play keep away. He's bringing some heat there. Give credit to that call. Now when Lee's McCray on the attack, do they have the equalizer? No, not this time. Looking to the near side corner, and North Greenville sends him back. Now Hedberg has it. And the long shot by McMorrow. Been a while since we called his name. Over on the left side box, Lee's McCray trying to keep it in play. Deflected out. Lee's McCray wanting a call, and it looks like they will get the out of bounds call. And we've got a North Greenville player down. So this will warrant a substitute. Looks like Will Moy ready to come in. As one Crusader down on the field, far side, can't make any kind of number out, but the trainer is headed out that way. So as soon as he gets back to this side, we'll provide you with an update. Clock stop, 16.01 to play as the soccer saga continues on. Tied at two between Louise McRae and North Greenville here on the Conference Carolinas Digital Network. Well, it looks like we are ready to resume play. Did not get a number on that injured Crusader, but he did get back up under his own power and is looks like he is heading back around behind the goal to make his way back to the North Greenville bench. So we will know who it is shortly as Will Moy will come back in for that injured player. 16.01 left to go, tied at two. And if, if this result holds, we are staring down another extra time game. Again, delayed two hours by weather. And Lee's McRae women's soccer, North Greenville women's soccer going into double overtime. Two extra time periods needed to decide a winner in that one with a scoreless tie. North Greenville getting the late go at the late golden goal winner from Kayla Cruz. North Greenville trying to sweep Lee's McRae and get the early boost in the Conference Carolinas play. 
and prove they could be threats to compete with some of the best. You got Limestone in this conference, see what they can do with the Saints. Tough year in, year out. And I'm still waiting for the injured Crusader player to make his way around the field and he already has his jersey off. So I guess good luck finding out his number. This game's starting to get chippy late. And some more fouls. Now, whatever injury that was does appear to be very, very minor. As he will look to sit down and stretch it out on the North Greenville bench. Free kick here, and what a save by Kendrick. The strike coming for Ortiz again, denied goal number two. No such luck that time, and Kendrick keeps things level. Not out of the woods yet, though. Corner kick for the Bobcats. Curls in, and the header just missed. Perslow had it timed, but could not get it dialed in. Well, 14 minutes left until the end of regulation. This sounds familiar. And a foul called there, more contact, Ortiz getting whistled for the foul. Greenwell takes the free kick very quickly. A long kick down the field and nobody home. Roberson here on the left side and a couple players tailing behind us. Blaze McCray, do they have the equalizer late? Got off to such a quick start scoring in the first 25 minutes and two goals in the first 25 minutes, I should say, and since then they have been held scoreless in check by North Greenville. Out of bounds off of number seven there for NGU, that is Erkins. Greenwell trying to get it out of their end on the clear. There we, there it goes. Bobcats keep it two defenders back at midfield to send it back. And another sharp whistle in. Here are the fouls. Fouls starting to pile up late. That one against North Greenville, so Bobcats free kick coming up. And North Greenville should be the first team to double-digit fouls on this one. We're up to 19. Good strike here on the curl in, headed out by North Greenville. Rebound shot is off the crossbar. And it falls back into play and just wide left. Well, Lise McCray was about two feet away from taking the lead. Shot bouncing off the crossbar. As we're past 11 o'clock here on the East Coast. Here in Tigerville. Starting to wind this one out, but will we have two more extra time periods coming up? Nobody able to get too far past midfield, and there's a offside flag up again against North Greenville. That one definitely offside. Yeah, well everybody has four offside calls. And that was Zach Baker who was too far out in front.
Unleash McCray offside. Before they can even get the ball back to the turf. Good through ball here, looking for help with number 19. It looks like a 19, Silvestri. Go out of bounds, goal kick for Kendrick. Casey Brady, he'll check back in for North Greenville. We'll switch him with Ben McKay. Good boot by Kendrick. Headed back the other way by Lee's McCray. And North Greenville watching. They stay on side this time. Here come the Crusaders in traffic. Through ball over the left side. They've got Roberson. He's been the setup guy. Roberson in the corner looking for help in the box. Survey, surveys, fires all the way over to the far side. Rebounded out. And here comes North Greenville once again. Trying to go for the strike, launching and missing wide, wide, wide too right and way too tall. Way too much juice on that one with nine minutes to go. Leaves McCray in traffic. Marlon Evan comes up for it. Goes to Olden. Defensive back line. There is Jimenez. There was Perslow for a moment. Here goes Gotta find some space. Roberson trying to outmaneuver his defender. Good. Cut left. Back to the middle, nice back heel. Looking for the strike from Brady. And missed time to pass there for number 28, Baker. Well, that'll get the bench fired up. Ortiz with the footwork, fancy footwork. Brings it across midfield. Up to Olden. Leave McCray looking for the strike. They lift it up, headed away by Erkins. On the rebound strike from Ortiz, missed it. And cleared out by NGU. Looking down the field for number 28, Baker, and a heavy collision there between Baker and Hedberg. No call, Baker's down, now he gets up. And he might be called upon here. North Greenville gets down the field quickly. They need to get numbers in the box. And here comes the shot, and it is wide left. Out of bounds. No, kept in play. And now it will be whistled out. Now does Lee's McCray have the speed to turn it upfield? Ortiz, this middle of the field, cut away by Evans. Big second half for Evans with the defensive stops. It's McCray still trying to get those offside calls, not gonna work. Here comes across in and right to Sundstrom. North Greenville had numbers in the box that time. They had Baker and Roberson. He's McCray wants fresh legs in. Here's Connor Hahn back in, and they'll bring McMorrow out. He's McCray surveying the landscape, what they have. Pass over right, Olden. Now back to Hedberg. Egbert lines one up. 
High shot and over the head of Kendrick, who came out to make that one, but judged it out of bounds. Goal kick. Also, Coletzo Mathatza, he's lining to come back in. He got the equalizer for North Greenville. Could he be the answer to get the go-ahead go here late? Five minutes to figure it out before more extra time here from Pepsi Stadium. A high pass, Ortiz, he's got a chance. Fired it back in, but got deflected. Lee's McCray trying to work it to the middle of the field, and it doesn't pay off. Now Sundstrom way outside to catch a piece of that one, send it out. North Greenville had a man up. Four minutes, who's got it? If anybody has it. Throw in for NGU. Tied at two. Greenville able to get to it. Trying to find a man forward. Brady had it, lost it. Ortiz to it. Now Lee's McCray. They have space. They'll turn on the attack. And a man forward. Silvestri might have been offside. Now the Bobcats, they'll move it up. Here they come. Hahn looking for the strike. Gives it up, Ortiz tangled up in the box. No call, no whistle, and it's out of bounds. Who gets it as the rain has started to fall once more? Supposed to be a Bobcat throw in. In the rain late. Header on, popped up out of bounds. Nope, stays in. And now it's out of bounds. And still Bobcat ball. Well, we almost made it as the cross deflected from Han. Three minutes to go. Now you've got to fight the opposing team and the elements. Ball again out of bounds. Still leaves McCray ball. Bobcats have every chance to win this one late. North Greenville trying to get it downfield. Sundstrom way off his mark and does dump it off. It's going to be Crusader ball here with two minutes to go. A battle for it at midfield. North Greenville gets it. They're going to line up a strike. They do not have numbers forward. Tripped up, and a foul is called. Now under two minutes to go. And before North Greenville can take the free kick, it's a lightning delay with a minute 47 left. Tied at two, and I'm sure the coaches are going to confer with the referees, appropriate staff members and all that, but we continue on here from Pepsi Stadium, the second lightning delay of the day.
and word has just been passed down that this game is now official with a minute 47 left. North Greenville and Lees McCray in the men's game will tie with a 2-2 draw to decide things at the end of